Autodesk Inventor 2017 midterm exam. You could grab the exam in the Vertani One webpage on the upper right corner, click on exams, and the green button Inventor Basics midterm. You'll see there's four steps. Model the bottle, model the cap, assemble the two, and create this drawing that you see down right below here. And here's the details for the parts. So let's begin. Let's first start with modeling the bottle. So I'm going to go to part. And I'm going to go to start 2D sketch. And I'm going to sketch on the XZ plane because a bottle stands up normally. So rather than have it laying on its side by selecting the well, the front plane, this this is uh, the top plane essentially. So click on the XZ plane. Then start a sketch with the circle tool, and the diameter needs to be two inches. And now we could go to 3D model and extrude that. And I'm just going to zoom out. I you could click on the home button or the corner there. And this needs to be a height of two and a half inches, so 2.5. Now select the top surface of the bottle to draw the neck. Go to Create Sketch. Use the Circle Tool again. And the diameter is 1.5. You could also use the Dimension Tool if you'd like up there. We go back to 3D Model, Extrude. And the height for this is 0.5. Now here's where the order of operations do make a difference. I would recommend first put the fillets on. The fillets are point, oh, let's just double check uh, on here, point one. And just select these three edges, this one, this one here, and the one at the bottom. Do not select this top edge, that's gonna be hollowed out. So hit okay. And now you could go to the shell command. If you do this out of order, essentially what will happen is that you will get uh, sharp corners on the inside of the bottle, which will be seen in the cross-section view on the drawing, thus getting marked off. So in this case, we want to make sure remove faces is selected and just double check the typical wall thickness is 0.1. Select the top surface of the bottle and hit OK. Just make sure you save it as the bottle. <clears throat> and I'm going to save it to my desktop so it's easy to find. And now I move on to the cap. So now I just go to New up here, Standard Eye Part, and make sure you're in English, Create, and We'll go to sketch, and again we could draw on I went with the circle tool. This time I could select the XZ plane once again. Although it's not as critical this time around, but uh, still it's nice to do. Now the first diameter is 1.9, and then we could just go to 3D model extrude, and the height for this is only 0.1. Immediately after, I would recommend for new users to put in the 0.1 radius on that top edge. So now you know what the top and the bottom is, so you don't model it upside down. Not that that's a huge deal, but the thing is, is uh, for new users, sometimes it's a challenge to figure out how to get it mounted on the bottle. I'm going to select this bottom face and start a sketch. The next diameter just steps down to Oops, I accidentally meant to type in the value. It's supposed to be 1.8. So I went to the dimension tool. Do not model in, even though you think you're taking a shortcut, do not model in the 1.5 diameter hole. There are different depths. So if you do that, it's going to cause some problems. So we go right to 3D model, extrude boss, and this depth is 0.5. The hole will be only 0.4. Now I could select this face, start a sketch, and now I could draw the hole. And it's 1.5 diameter. We go to extrude, and we have to flip it. So up here, click on cut. 
and then it should be 0.4. If it's 0.5, it'll come out and correct. Okay, now select this face here and start a sketch. Take the circle tool once again and get it in this quadrant up here and drag it out to this edge. Let's dimension it. Should be 0.1. And now we could go to 3D model and extrude and select that profile. Now we're going to flip it, so we'll hit the reverse switch. Now it might go to the cut option, so be careful. You don't want it to actually cut it, so you actually have to select join. Now instead of distance, just select two next, and it will know to contact that surface of the mushroom, at the top of the mushroom there. Hit the green check mark. Now we need to pattern that. Go to circular pattern. The feature we want to pattern is this feature, so let's click on it. Now the rotation axis, you could just select this outer face, and then we need to have 50 instances around the full 360 degrees, and hit OK. The cap is now done. Go ahead and save it as the cap. All right, now we have to put those together. So we go to File, New, Notice I'm going a different route. It doesn't really matter. Um, in this case, I'm just going to go right to assembly. And we want to place components. So we click on place. And we just make sure that we are in our desktop. And we should be able to see the bottle and the cap. So first, select the bottle. Hit open. And you could go ahead and just click anywhere to drop it and it allows you to add additional ones but we just want to hit escape on the keyboard at that point now what you probably want to do with the bottle at this point is if you hold down get over it right click and hold down and we want to go ahead and we want to lock this down so we want to select grounded right up here okay that way it can't be moved. Otherwise you could move it around. It's not a huge deal, but if it gets rotated or something, that might be a problem. Okay, now we go to place, and now we select the cap. Hit open. I'd recommend putting it way on top because sometimes I've seen students drop it down below and then it hides inside the bottle when they add the first mate. And a little bit of panic in sets. So, um, just be careful of that. So now we're going to go to constraint. And you'll see we can constrain these in different elements. If we select the cylinder of the bottle here, and then the cylinder here, the actual hole, notice that goes with the axis, and that's fine. It's, make, it's mating the axes together. You could hit OK. Now you might have to drag this out a little bit. I should have mounted a little bit further away. But now I go back to constrain, and you can now constrain the flats. Do not constrain this. This would be wrong. You want this face, the inside, of the base of the hole in the cap. Now select the top of the neck on the bottle and hit OK. It should now be attached like that. Now, as far as exploding this, Normally for the midterm for the introductory class, I don't expect you to explode it. You can do it for extra credit. Um, and I will actually, if you want, you could just fast forward through this, but you have to create what's called a presentation file to explode it. So if you like, you could watch this and get some extra credit uh, and explode it for the drawing. And the way this works is we go to File, and then we go to New, and then Presentation. And we'll go ahead, you know, you know, I meant to save the actual file. Let's see that it's, I don't think I saved it. Yes, and I did not. So I don't have that ability yet to go to the presentation file. So let me close that out. Let's make sure we save our part here. And this is going to be, uh, we'll just call it the med bottle. And save it on the desktop and now we could go to file new presentation okay 
and we'll go ahead and I want to drop this again on my desktop. Oh, I actually, I'm sorry, not drop it. Ex select the desktop, and then the med bottle should be there. Hit open. Now it looks just like your typical inventor, but it has um, the uh, the storyboard, essentially for animations and things like that. So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, tweak the components. And what you do is you select the part, and then you could grab the manipulator handle in the direction you want it to explode. And then hit the green check mark, and that's it. Go ahead and save the presentation file. Go up here to the save, and again, save it. Just hit uh, yes to all and OK. And now we can minimize this. Actually, we could go to make the drawing. So we go new. Select ANSI drawing, create. Now, uh, for my class, I'd like you to drop it on an A size sheet. So, if you remember from exercise six, we learned how to do that. If you hit these little arrows here, you could now go to sheet formats and then the A size landscape. Just double click. And over here, make sure that it's the proper what you're looking to put in. And what you want actually is the IAM and hit OK. All right, also, this title block is rather large. You, I would recommend getting rid of it. And so for that, we're on sheet two here. And we could see the ANSI large. We could right click and delete that. And now up here under title blocks, we could go just to ANSI A and double click and it should drop in the smaller title block. Now going back here to this view, let's drag that in. Now you're supposed to try and recreate this drawing as best as you can that, that we have here. So what we're looking at, we have a scale of a quarter scale. So if I double click on this, here we could actually change the scale. Or you could actually, um, there's other places too where you could change it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just change it right here. Or actually, let's see, do we have a quarter scale? There is a quarter. Oh, that's awfully small. Um, I'm sorry, maybe it's a half scale. Okay, it looks like it's a half scale. All right, now at that point, um, we could hit OK. Oh, uh, some other things, the model, state, display, tangent edges, foreshortened, and the component should be set to hidden lines removed. You could hit OK. And I could just grab the border and drag it anywhere you like. Now we want to project a bottom view off that, so just go to project and click and drop that down there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, right click and hit create. So you have to hold the right mouse button to get that little clock. In the three clock you'll see create, so you have to hold the right mouse button to get that. Okay, now we need to make a section view. So on this particular view here, I'm just going to click on it in advance. Not that you have to, but go to section now and align yourself to the top and it should find with a little green dot that this is the midpoint and then move up and notice I didn't click here note that I did not click I just move up a little bit above it because I don't want the arrows contacting the actual edges I'm just gonna drag straight through and then with this you right click again you're holding the right mouse button down continue drag off to the right and click again to release it now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in a diameter, uh, the detail view. So we go up to detail view, and just in this little region here, click. And if you click again and drag, you could drop this right here. Click. Now here you have the cutout shape. You could have it jagged or rounded. Either one is fine for me. Click to drop it. I'll leave it at jagged. And now we want to bring in our presentation file. So let's go to base Oops. and there's our IPN file and see how it's exploded now I don't particularly like that view um, and so what we might want to do is get a different one there um, and what we could do is we could click on home right up here and this will reorient the view for us and then hit 
Um, if you want it in shaded mode, leave it in shaded, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna hit OK, and I just drag it over. So to reorient it, remember when you double click, you could use this box here. I'm gonna hit Escape. All right, now we want the parts list and uh, some of the other annotations to go along inside here. So for the parts list, let's go up to annotate and you'll see parts list. Select it, select the view, and hit OK. And just click to drop it right up in that corner there. OK, go to balloon, and you could click on each edge here, and then right hold, continue. Click on this edge, click, and then right hold, continue. And then under annotate here, you'll see there's dimensions, which we don't need any dimensions for this one. But uh, let's go with the center mark. Click on center mark and select this edge. And it will drop a center mark in for us. Also, the text. Click on text. And in here, drop your name in. Uh, please, no initials for my students. Uh, full names. Not just first names either, because a lot of people with the same name. Okay, at this point, we just double check the drawing to make sure that it looks very similar. And it looks pretty good here. So I'm going to go ahead and at this point, print it out. So just go up to the printer right here and print it out. Turn it in, and that's it. And that concludes Autodesk Inventor Professional 2017 midterm exam.